Praise the Lord, glory be to Jesus. Saints of God, brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the third Sunday of the month of September. Our month prophetically by faith declared as our month of fruitfulness. God is good, God is gracious. We've been receiving testimonies from people all over the world having encounter with the God of total fruitfulness the God of all round fruitfulness, all manner of testimonies, testimonies of healings, testimonies of financial breakthroughs, testimonies, supernatural restoring of marriages and home. If God can do it for one, he can do for another. If you are under the influence of my voice, you are watching me, you are listening to me today, I believe God with you. Your testimony will be the next in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Lift your hand and celebrate the God of all round fruitfulness. Give God all the glory and the honor. Celebrate the faithfulness of God. Celebrate the goodness of God. Jehovah, our God, our Father, the eternal one. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Clap your hands if you can move, if you have enough room to pray and celebrate the goodness of Jesus. Thank God for the fruitfulness of your mind. Thank God for sound mind. Thank God for sound health. Thank God for fruitfulness in your home, in your marriage. Thank God for fruitfulness in your business. Thank God for fruitfulness in your career. Thank God for fruitfulness in your ministry. Thank God for fruitfulness in your spiritual life. Hallelujah. Thank God for fruitfulness in your relationship. Hallelujah. Father will appreciate you. Lord, we give you glory and honor. The Bible says, in all things give thanks unto the Lord. For it is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. Father, we celebrate you. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Begin to thank God for the week that is ahead of you. Emando Zokula Hakatushi Kalahangra Dilipi Wahaza. Prophesy over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Decree fruitfulness each of the days of this week. Fruitfulness, call it forth in the name of Jesus. Fruitfulness in my going out, fruitfulness in my coming in, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I celebrate you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Listen to me, child of God. I'm prophesying to you, watching me and listening to me. What you can't get by labor this week, receive it by grace and by favor. What you have been laboring to get and you've not been able to receive, receive it by grace and by favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I perceive in my spirit there is a woman watching me. The woman whom you are working for is in the hospital. And this woman is your helper. You are crying to God for the healing and the restoration of health for this woman. Daughter of Zion, I join my faith with you. And I pray for the healing power of Jesus upon this woman that is your helper that you work for that is in the hospital. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Children of God, open your hands and believe God for all round fruitfulness. This day, this week, in the name of Jesus Christ, your testimony shall not be denied you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Let's look at Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 9. Leviticus 26 verse 9. This is a covenant that our God, our Father, our creator has declared that he made with us look at this child of god leviticus 26 verse 9 i will look favorably upon you put your name there child of god making you fatal please claim it 
if you are a woman you are married and you are believing God for the fruit of the womb or you are a man you are married and the doctors have said you have low sperm count you've not been able to have children I decree in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God by the covenant of this scripture receive fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ wherever you are watching me from around the world I decree to you morning afternoon evening if you are listening to me right now by faith in the name of Jesus Christ every part of your system that is declared barren receive life and fertility in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God aren't you glad God your creator is saying I will look favorably upon you I don't care who is looking at you with hatred with envy I don't care who is looking at you with demonic anger listen to me child of God if God is looking at you with favor you will be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ I will look favorably upon you and making you fatal and multiplying your people and I will fulfill my covenant the Lord said I will fulfill my covenant with you put your name there put your family name there please look at the King James Version glory to God when God says I will make you fruitful no man cannot make you and when God said I will make you fruitful he's referring to all round fruitfulness glory be to Jesus look at the King James Version please underline this in your Bible for I will have respect unto you glory to God and make you fruitful cycle that word make you fruitful God the Almighty says I will make you fruitful if God is committed to make you fruitful I ask you this one question who is that man who is that agent of the devil who is that demonic boss who is that satanic neighbor that can make you unfruitful no hallelujah child of God clap your hand and celebrate your fruitfulness whichever area of your life you are believing God for fruitfulness the God you serve the God of covenant is committed to make you fruitful and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you so there is a place in God by covenant that has declared you fruitful no matter the challenge you are going through no matter the challenge that you are faced with financially materially or maritally God is committed to make you fruitful he say I will make you I am glad that God is the one making me I am glad men have tried several times to destroy what the hand of God is said to do in my life in the same many of you listening to me neighbors colleagues in the office jealous friends and colleagues they have tried to destroy your relationship destroy your marriage destroy the grace of the thing that the grace of God has given to you but what they do not know is that what God is committed to do in your life no man can undo it and that is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ all round fruitfulness mentally I decree declare you shall be fruitful spiritually I decree declare you shall be fruitful financially I decree declare you shall be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus open your hands say every curse of unfruitfulness around my life around my family expire in the name of Jesus expire every cause of unfruitfulness around my life around my family around my career around my business expire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 14 brother Harry you are listening to me your name is Harry make a U-turn says the Spirit of the Lord thou shall be blessed above all people there shall not be male or female barren among you. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. Your cattle there represent your career, represent your business, represent your finances. This is the word of the Lord. 
there is no place for barrenness in your body there is no place for barrenness in your womb by the word of the lord there is no place for barrenness in your business in your career by the word of the lord children of god we are going to pray open your hands and make this declaration i declare in the name of jesus all round fruitfulness is my portion i can't be barren whatever kind of barrenness you see or you sense around your life it cannot be it should not be because the word of god has declared concerning you that you are blessed above all people that none shall be barren not male not female if you are a man you sense any kind of barrenness around you or in your life you can rebuke it and you can reject it if you are a woman you can rebuke it you can reject it because the word of god is promised us that none shall be barren among you and not among your cattle so your finances your career your business there should not be any trace of barrenness in the mighty name of jesus christ begin to make that declaration and that prayer in jesus mighty name i declare in the name of jesus all round fruitfulness is my portion i can't be barren clap your hands and turn it to prayer children of the most high god I reject every form of barrenness in in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living god praise the lord so we're going to be looking at steps to take to enjoy all round fruitfulness we've been able to establish that all round fruitfulness is god's desire for us as his children when god created man god declared those words over mankind and empower mankind for all round fruitfulness fruitfulness in the mind fruitfulness in the spirit fruitfulness in the soul fruitfulness all round of man's life how do we assess this fruitfulness and how do we enjoy it please i would like you to take note of these steps and i pray that by faith that you as you take these steps you will experience all round fruitfulness and every form of barrenness around your life come to an end in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god number one the word of god you have to make yourself available to hear the word of the living god god's word is the number one step to enjoy all round fruitfulness remember the word of god that god declared over mankind he said to them be thou fruitful believe the word receive the word stand on the word of god and i guarantee you child of god by faith all round fruitfulness will be your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ luke chapter 1 and verse 31 luke chapter 1 and verse 31 the word of god is the number one step you take to enjoying all round fruitfulness and behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb this was the word of the lord brought unto mary by angel gabriel hallelujah and behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name jesus the word of the lord came to mary through the angel grippe by the word he said to her thou shalt conceive in thy womb children of the most high god do you desire all round fruitfulness the first step is to make yourself available to hearing the word of god every word you receive from the lord in any area of your life of consign by that word you receive from the lord you shall conceive in the womb of your business you shall conceive 
in the womb of your career you shall conceive in the womb of your family you shall conceive in the womb of your health you shall conceive even by faith in the womb of your future you shall conceive whatever kind of fruitfulness you are trusting God for that you are believing God for it starts with you receiving the word of God child of God search through the scripture whatever promise that you locate that is as related to your case and matter that you are believing God to manifest in your life believe it and as you receive it conception begins in the realms of the spirit so the first step to take to enjoy all round fruitfulness is the word of God behold thou shalt conceive in thy womb I don't know which of thy womb you are believing God for fruitfulness is it the womb of your spirit or the womb of your finances or the womb of your career or the womb of your relationship or the womb of your body for children whichever womb that you have that you are trusting God for for fruitfulness right now as I am speaking the Word of God receive it in Jesus mighty name and as you believe it and receive it so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may by the word of God I make me to declare let every form of barrenness in your finances in your career in your business in your family come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God number two step to take to enjoy all round fruitfulness is believing the word. Number one is to be is to make yourself available to hear the word of God. Number two, after hearing the word of God, believe the word. Hallelujah. What you don't believe, you cannot conceive and achieve and have. You must believe the word of God. What you don't believe, you cannot become. Many receive the word. Many hear the word, but they do not believe it. Hallelujah. Every word you receive from God and you believe in it, you are on your way to enjoying fruitfulness. Look at the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 28. Look at it again. Genesis 1, 27 to 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Verse 28. And God blessed them. And God said the word of God. That's the first step. Hallelujah. Take your time, child of God. Look around your life. Is there any area of your life that you sense barrenness? Locate God's promises from the word that is speaking to that area of your life about fruitfulness. If you do locate it, if you do locate it by faith, receive that word and believe it. And I guarantee you by the promise of God's word, you shall be fruitful. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so number one make yourself available to receive the word number two believe the word that you receive from god luke chapter 1 verse 45 glory be to jesus luke chapter 1 and verse 45 praise the lord and blessed is she and blessed is he that believed for they shall be a performance of those things which we are told her or him from the lord do you believe those words that have been told you from the lord hallelujah those words might sound ridiculous. It doesn't look like it can come to pass in your life. But do you believe? If you believe the word that you have received from God or you have received from the mouth of a servant of God, child of God, the Bible says they shall be performance. Hallelujah. May that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number three, 
obedient to the word of God. Do you know, friends, that every word that you receive from God, every word that you believe from God, there is always a step that you ought to take to see it come into manifestation. Obedient to that word that you have received and believed from God guarantees you fruitfulness in that area, in any area of your life that you are trusting God for fruitfulness. Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Whatever God says you should do, do it, and the result shall be fruitfulness. Glory to God. I want to pray for someone by faith whom the left side of your body, the left side of your body, your hand, your legs is seriously in pain. You are afraid that it might end up as a stroke. By the power that is in the name of Jesus, lay your hands there. I decree the healing power of Jesus upon you. I rebuke every attack of the wicked against your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're a man and you are always involved in an accident, please, I'd like you to open your hands. You are always involved in an accident. Every monetary spirit assigned against your life, I decree in the name of Jesus, their plans against you shall not prosper. I rebuke the attack of the wicked over you, Ezekiel. I decree the intervention of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Steps to take to enjoy all-round fruitfulness. Number one, the Word of God. Making yourself available to hearing the Word. Number two, believe the Word that you hear from God. And then number three, obedient to the Word of God. Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 two three glory to god blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the ways of sinner in the way of sinners nor seated in the seat of the scoffer look at verse two thank you lord but his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law does he meditate day and night and look at verse three then he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit, that bringeth forth her fruit in his season. Obedient to the word of God is one of the steps that you take to enjoy all round fruitfulness. This person, the Bible says, Yes, the word of God and delight in the word of God. To delight in it is to walk in it. Obedient to the word that you receive from God. He said, then you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf or her leaf shall not wither. Barrenness will be far from your habitation. Barrenness will be far from your finances. Barrenness will be far from your career. And whatsoever you do, you shall prosper. Child of God, obedient to the word of God is a major step to take to enjoying all round fruitfulness. Glory be to God. And step number four is service to God and to the interest of his kingdom. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 25. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Exodus 23 and verse 25. Do you desire all round fruitfulness? Do you want to see your life fruitful in all ramification? These are the steps that you ought to take by faith to enjoy all round fruitfulness. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. Friends, it's a condition. Do you desire it? If you desire it, then take this step by faith. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, fruitfulness, and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. You will enjoy the, the bread and the water there represent the works of your hands. You will enjoy fruitfulness in the works of your hand. Then look at verse 26. Glory to God. And there shall nothing cast their young, none be barren. 
service to God and the interest of his kingdom is a major step to take to enjoy all round fruitfulness. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. There shall nothing cast away their young. There shall not be any form of miscarriage. Not miscarriage in the body, not miscarriage in the works of your hand, not miscarriage in your finances. He said, none shall be barren. Glory to God. In thy land, the numbers of thy days I will fulfill. Brethren, these two verses clearly reveal God's plan for us in all round fruitfulness. You will not be sick. Sickness will not be part of you. Hallelujah. Your body shall be fruitful. The works of your hand shall be fruitful. Your water and your bread shall be blessed. You shall not be barren. Neither shall you experience miscarriage. And then you will enjoy long life. The numbers of thy days I will fulfill. Hallelujah. Look at Job chapter 36 and verse 11. There are levels of prosperity and fruitfulness you can't enjoy until you are committed to God in service. If they obey and serve Him, they shall spend their days in prosperity. Remember, prosperity is just one kind of fruitfulness, but you can be prosperous in all areas of your life. And that is what God is saying here. It's not just prosperity when it comes to materialism, prosperity in every area of your life. And they are years in pleasure. Praise the Lord. Number five step to enjoy all round fruitfulness is being in the right place. Friends, please, I want you to take very close look at the scriptures we are going to read at this particular point and pay care attention to the things I'm going to say here, please. There are fruitfulness you cannot enjoy if you are not in the right place. I know of people who are in places, they fast, they pray, they cry unto God. And there are certain kind of fruitfulness that can never come to them because they are positioned in the wrong place. Hallelujah. Look at 2 Samuel chapter 7 from verse 10. Glory to God. For us to enjoy fruitfulness, we need to be at the right place. There are some of you watching me right now. God will relocate you, says the Spirit of the Lord. From where you are, God will relocate you to places where you will enjoy fruitfulness. Look at this, 2 Samuel 7 verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel. I, the Lord, I will appoint a place for you. Put your name there, James, John, Anna. Put your name there. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel. I ask you, where your business is, that which you are doing, where you are, that part of the world where you are positioned, did God appointed it for you? Because you enjoy fruitfulness. One of the things you enjoy where God is appointed for you is all round fruitfulness. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people, Israel, and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before time. Praise the Lord. So there are places you can be that the wicked can not touch you. They will see you, but they can't touch you because you are where God is appointed you by faith to be. Look at verse 11. 2 Samuel 7 and verse 11. Praise the Lord. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, and I have caused thee to rest from all thy enemy. Praise the Lord. Also the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee an house in the place that I the Lord has appointed unto thee. Friends, I have people across the world who are in countries where supposedly people do not lack in those places who are trusting God for help. They don't have, but they are where people said 
It's a land of milk and honey. Some in America, some in Europe, and yet they are seeking for help. The question is, I believe yes, there could be trials and challenges, but a lot are in places where God has not appointed unto them. So being in the right place is one of the steps to assess all round fruitfulness. And I pray if you are under the influence of my voice, if where you are is not where God has appointed or ordained for thee, may the grace of God relocate you to the right place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 3. Genesis 12 verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. The place where we are is important to our fruitfulness. Look at Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 to 3. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy kindred. Move from where you are and from, and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Look at verse 2. Glory to God. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. But I can't do it where you are. You need to move. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Child of God, listen to me carefully. There are fruitfulness you can never assess until you move to the place where God has appointed and ordained for thee. And I will make of thee, Abraham, a great nation, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Look at verse 3. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. But I will only do it if you move from where you are to where I have appointed for thee, Abraham. Abraham obeyed God. End of story. Go read your Bible. Abraham became a very blessed man and enjoyed all round fruitfulness. The child he was believing God for, God blessed him. And God blessed him with riches and with breakthroughs and wealth. May that be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I hear my spirit, there is someone called Connie, Connie, and you are a teacher. You are going through a terrible, severe financial situation. You are in debt to the point where even when you go to work as a teacher, you hide yourself from people that you are indebted to. The mercy of the Lord is locating you right now. Please contact us with the number on the screen. The hand of God come upon you. I pray because you desire God to give you a better school to teach. I decree that the hand of God, even by this point that has just been made, relocate you to a better place where you have better opportunity to teach. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Receive your breakthrough by faith in Jesus' name. Number six step is trust God for divine timing. Friends, there are things that can only happen at God's time for your life. It could be in any area of your life, financially, spiritually, maritally, there are things that we only manifest and comfort at the appointed time God is set for them to happen in your life and that is why you must stop comparing yourself with others it might be the time for someone today but I guarantee you if you walk with God in obedient and in faith your time will definitely come because God has an appointed time for everyone for certain things to manifest in their, in, in their lives. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 22. A little one shall become a thousand. Somebody shout amen. Put your name there by faith and say, I receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. Glory to God. You might be referred to today as a puppy but if you stand by the word of god and wait for god's timing for your life i stand to declare to you very soon you shall become 
a full grown adult dog by faith in what you are doing they that are looking down at you today we see you tomorrow as a mighty hill that is standing to the glory of the living jesus christ don't despise your little beginning your beginning today may be little but your end shall greatly increase to the glory and to the praise of god but all of these things says the lord i the lord will hasten it in his time i will only do it in my time i will make it happen in my own time look at the new living translation please there are things that can only happen in god's time so you have to wait praise the name of jesus christ the smallest family will become a thousand people amen i receive it i want you to receive it by faith in the name of jesus the tiniest group will become a mighty nation hallelujah great prophecy but at the right time i the lord will make it happen i the lord will make it happen this is one of my most favorite scripture isaiah 60 and verse 22 hallelujah glory be to jesus your time is not your brother's time your time is not your friend's time your time is not your colleague's time and that is why child of god again i say do not compare yourself or look at others god has a time for you and when the time of god comes for you he says i will make it happen so one of the steps to take to enjoy all round fruitfulness is trust god for divine timing god will not mismanage your life the internal one will not you have committed yourself into the hands of god trust him for divine timing wait upon the lord because in his own time he makes all things beautiful maritally financially spiritually in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god second to the last key and then we pray and close this um, message this day number seven is faithfulness faithfulness to that which you have right now friends before god will take you to a bigger place he will always start with you from a smaller place that is the principle of the word of god a great harvest will always commence as a small tiny seed if you are not faithful as a seed don't expect great harvest in whatever you are trusting god for for fruitfulness you will always start small as a seed your faithfulness therefore is a must if you must enjoy fruitfulness spirit soul and body if you are not faithful to taking care of your health your body don't expect to enjoy fruitfulness of sound health jehovah's part is established but you also have a part to play if you are not faithful to giving don't expect financial fruitfulness if you are not faithful in your relationship in your marriage don't expect marital fruitfulness in whichever area of your life you are believing god for fruitfulness it starts with you being faithful matthew chapter 25 verse 21 to 23 anything you are faithful loyal at it leads to fruitfulness glory to god hallelujah look at this his lord said unto him and in this parable the lord here is referring to our father our god our creator his lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful underline the word there thou good and faithful servant thou has been faithful over a few things thou has been faithful over a small thing thou has been faithful over that small beginning in your marriage thou has been faithful over that small position in your office thou has been faithful over that relationship thou has been faithful over that business amen look at this i will make thee that is how god will make you i am excited every time i see the word say god referring to himself i will make thee you know friends that should give you the confidence that no mortal man can or make you or bring you down or destroy you 
because the force behind your making is the internal one jehovah the almighty god hallelujah i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of thy lord look at verse 22 we're going to 23 praise the lord he also he also that had received two talents came and said lord thou deliverest unto me two talents behold i have gained two other talent beside them and look at what the, the lord said in verse 23 his lord said unto him well done may that be the response from god towards you in that name of jesus christ may that be the response of god towards me towards us in the mighty name of jesus christ his lord said unto him well done can god say that to you over that little assignment that he has put in your hand can god say that unto you over that title i mean that talent that he has buried in your spirit in your body can god say well done thou good and faithful servant thou has been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of the lord friends faithfulness is a must if you truly desire all round fruitfulness don't despise where you are right now don't look down at what you are doing right now don't look down at the position where you are placed right now be faithful that faithfulness is a major step that you must take that is needed for you to step into enjoying all round fruitfulness. And the last key, friends, is association. Friends, I believe that you can enjoy all round fruitfulness by association. There are people around us who listen to me I, I i want to say this and i want to be very careful with what i'm going to say i'm called into the power ministry by faith i mean by grace through faith in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ i've had people whose reason for barrenness is because of wrong association i mean financial barrenness material barrenness i've had people who the reason why they are not producing any form of result in their life is because they are surrounded with the wrong company of people glory be to jesus i believe there are fruitfulness you can enjoy by the right association there are people god will bring into your life who are already blessed and they are fruitful spiritually they are fruitful materially they are fruitful and by association as you relate with them the grace for fruitfulness will rub on you and will come on you because the company you keep is a prophecy of the future that awaits you hallelujah and that is why you must prayerfully choose the people that you associate yourself with with these steps i trust god that you will enjoy all round fruitfulness may god give you grace to carry out these steps and by faith as you do may all round fruitfulness becomes your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ may the remaining months this year if jesus tarry october november december may all round fruitfulness be your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ whatever you have been running after whatever you have been pursuing all your life and that has kept eluding you by faith in the mighty name of jesus as you take these steps may these things begin to look for you may they begin to come to you in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of the living god i prophesy and i declare from this day, Makusa Avushkel Kletulkla Angra to Pundegi Kazadaya, whatever is considered dry, barren around your life, by the power of the Word of God, receive life in the name of Jesus. Be thou fruitful according to the Word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
the son of the living God. Hallelujah. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, I want you to do so now by faith. Hallelujah. That is the beginning of every form of breakthrough of fruitfulness in life. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life as my Lord and my personal Savior. I surrender my life to you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. If you've prayed this prayer, congratulations. You are saved and washed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. We're going to pray just one prayer before we close this day. Look at Psalm 113 and verse 9. Hallelujah. I have a strong auction in my spirit to pray for every woman that is believing God for the fruit of the womb. And if you are watching me, you know any of your relative that has been married or man that has been married and has been he or she has been trusting God for children, please lay your hands by faith on your stomach. I believe that as we pray, wherever you are watching me or listening to me from around the world, the power of God will touch you and you shall receive this particular kind of fruitfulness, the fruitfulness of the womb, of having children. The Bible says, nothing shall cast away thy young and none shall be buried, not even your cattle, how much more you. Above the king, akupa akra andi ikluklo teshkeli akra dimi wahazia. It is written, Psalm 113 verse 9, He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. He makes the barren woman to keep house because particularly from the continent where I come from, Africa. If you are married and you don't have children, the tendency for you to lose your home is there. So when the word of God says that it makes the barren woman to keep house, it is very prophetic. I therefore decree in the name of Jesus, you will not lose your marriage. You will not lose your home because of childlessness, because of barrenness. Every form of barrenness ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the word of God. Be conceived and be fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. It is done. Whatever kind of fruitfulness you are trusting God for, receive it now marital fruitfulness, financial fruitfulness, spiritual fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree fruitfulness over you and your children. In Jesus' mighty name, may this week for you be fruitful to the glory of God. Praise the Lord, saints of God. I believe you have received the word of God and by faith walk in these steps and all round fruitfulness shall be your portion. Remember, join me in preaching the word of God by sharing and by supporting the word of God financially in prayers and in kind as God gives you grace and strength. May God bless you. May God keep you in Jesus' name. We thank you for watching this broadcast. We believe it has blessed you. If you are in need of prayers and counseling, you can call these numbers plus 234-803-706-4330 or plus 27 four five three seven eight seven two four and if the message has been a blessing towards your life you can be a blessing towards the work of the kingdom of God with the account details as follows four zero seven one six eight one eight seven three Absa Bank God bless you